Christmas is so close, guys. I already know I'm going to miss this time of year as soon as it's over. Yeah, me too, because it may or may not be my final Christmas until I'm, you know. Joey, don't do yourself like that, bro. We're the ones that are supposed to joke around with you on that, not you. Now, why did this get depressing so fast? What the hell, Joseph? I'm sorry, okay? Well, Joey, if that time does come, uh, what song do you want played at your funeral? All I want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. No shot. You idiot. Are you freaking serious, Joey? Yes, yes. It's my favorite and the best Christmas song. Best Christmas song? Yeah, I'll just go get the casket ready. I never heard of anyone playing a Christmas song at a funeral. And out of all the amazing Christmas songs, he chooses Mariah Carey's. Oh, shut up. Mariah Carey is my spirit animal, and I listen to that song on the daily when I work out. You working out? The hell? I bet you lift two pound weights and break a bone every single time you squat. I lift one pound weights, actually, for your information. You know, speaking of Christmas songs, we should go ahead and make a Christmas song tier list since Christmas is literally in a few days. As long as I don't get to hear that annoying Mariah Carey song, then I'm here for it. Don't diss my queen. I want to hear you try and sing a number one Christmas song, you bitch. Oh, I'm already way ahead of you, Sleepy Joe. I made two Christmas bangers in the studio, and they're gonna overtake Mariah Carey. Biden's a schmuck, Nancy's correct. Hillary Clinton, she really sucks. My tweets are rude. Michelle's a duper. Rock is a cut. Adam 22, Hunter's laptop. Trump Towers, Trump Steak 2, Trump Water, Trump Candle. You really just diss my damn wife, Donnie? Hey, I'm not a schmuck and leave Hunter alone. Damn partner, that actually was pretty hard. Just wait till you listen to my other song. It's a certified hood classic. All I want for Christmas is these politicians to put America before their foreign vested interests. Repeal Obamacare. Ain't no more Joe Biden always falling up the stairs. Repeal Obamacare? Oh, hell no. The song was good up until you made fun of me falling up the stairs. Okay, I'm definitely streaming those songs. Where can I listen to them? Find me on Spotify and iTunes at Trump the Don. I'm your new favorite rapper, baby. We're making it out the hood with my song. Hell yeah, partner. We're making it out the trenches. The hood and trenches? Y'all don't know a thing about the trenches or the hood. I guess I give you props for becoming a, a music artist. But just wait and see what I cook up, Donnie. Okay, okay, enough of Donnie's music. Let's start this Christmas song tier list. And just know that we're obviously not gonna get every Christmas song in this video, so please work with what we have on this list since we know we're gonna forget a lot of songs. So starting the list off with, of course, Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas Is You. And by the way, shout out to our channel members, Johnny Snake Shoulders, an excellent file for the video idea, along with so many of you guys commenting for us to do a Christmas song tier list. Yeah, shout out to all of you losers for making my ears bleed today. Sorry, Donnie, but we have to do it to you. Feast your ears on Mariah Carey. All I want for Christmas you. Oh, thank God it's over. What? No, 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 play more Mariah. Yeah, come on, that was only five seconds. Sorry, but no, the unfortunate thing is, or fortunate depending on how you look at it, we can only play five seconds of every song that we rank today. Good, go play my songs instead. Shut up, Donald. Since YouTube is really strict with their copyright, that's why we can't even play 10 seconds of any of these Christmas songs without the video getting blocked. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh man. This is quite literally the most overplayed Christmas song of all time, making it bad. But a song being overplayed doesn't make it bad. This is a timeless classic and you can't deny that. The song came out 29 years ago in 1994, which is crazy. Yeah, almost 30 long, years of pain and suffering. Stop being a Grinch, Donald. Christmas only comes once a year. It's not like you hear this song or any of these Christmas songs all year long. But some insane people start playing this wretched song in October. That is not true. Uh, actually, I do. Shut up, Joey. See? The earliest I'll play this song and all the other Christmas songs is November. Yeah, that's true. Michelle and I typically get into the holiday spirit right after Thanksgiving, but I honestly think as overplayed and overrated as this song can be, I'm still gonna place it in the good tier since it is now an inevitable Christmas classic. Yeah, the moment November 1st hits, all retail workers are gonna start suffering when they hear this song 24 seven. I'm sure there's some Christmas songs those retail workers don't mind hearing. Last Christmas by Wham, definitely being one of them. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the nope. Yet again, more overplayed garbage. Screw off, Donnie. How do you not like this song? Yeah, this is such a great song, man. You guys gotta realize, opinions are like assholes. We all have one, but some are more full of shit than others. Uh, now that's just weird. Oh, whatever, Donald. You're missing out on such a nostalgic sounding and real catchy song. This song came out in 1984, and those 80s vibes make it even better. The 80s was filled with a lot of cheesy songs like this one. Since we won't win Donnie over with this song, let's make him mad and put it in the God tier. Yes, this is definitely a God tier Christmas. Song. Wrong! The song is mid as hell! You're mid as hell. And oh, by the way, for all of you watching, 
over 60% of our viewers aren't even subscribed. Wow, that's pretty wild. A lot of you watching are brand new and not subscribed yet. So if you're enjoying our video, hit up that subscribe button. It'll mean a lot if you subscribe, since we're very close to 100,000 subscribers. But back to the tier list, Donnie. You better not say anything bad about Santa Claus is coming to town. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout, I'm telling you. Yeah, you better watch out and not cry about this song. The thing is, which version of this song are we talking about? Michael Jackson? Jackson's Bing Crosby's or Frank Sinatra? Now that's a good question. Hmm. I honestly like all of them. It's hard to decide. That's the thing with a lot of these Christmas songs. There's so many versions of all of them sung by different people. I kind of like Bing Crosby's version more, but all of them aren't bad. Wrong. Frank Sinatra's version is the best. But the energy of Michael Jackson's version is just great. Santa Claus is Even though it's great, I feel like there are better Christmas songs, so I'm just gonna place this one in the good tier. Deck the Halls is up next, and all I remember with this song is fa la 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 la. Deck the Halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 la. Tis. Yeah, and it's so much fun to sing. I love singing this song with my grandchildren. Honestly, the whole fa la 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 is very overplayed, but it is iconic. Exactly my thoughts, Deck. The halls is mid. I personally think that's a harsh ranking, but whatever. Feliz Navidad is the next Christmas song. Feliz Navidad. Ah, uh, yeah, I almost forgot about this song. This is a really good one, too. I feel like it's an underrated Christmas song. I don't think this song is that bad, but it does get a little repetitive. But you can say that for a lot of these Christmas songs, since most of them are the same lyrics over and over again. That's literally what the structure of a song is, you dumbasses. But some songs don't have structure like this one, since the only things he says in the song is Feliz Navidad, and I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. But that's the beauty of it. It's a simple and straightforward song. Yep, and that's why I'm putting it in the good tier and moving on is a classic Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Please tell me that you like this song, Donald. I swear, if you talk down on this song, I'm sending a drone strike to your house. Calm your horses, Towers. If it's Frank Sinatra's version, then yes, I'm a fan of it. Oh, thank God. The intro of Frank Sinatra's version is weird, but the rest of the song is undeniably a heartwarming classic. The crazy part about Jingle Bells is that it was not originally composed as a Christmas song. Wait, really? Yeah, partner. It was written way back in 1857 under the title One Horse Open Sleigh and was intended for Thanksgiving celebrations. 1857? I'm sure Joseph remembers that very well. I actually do. I miss the 1800s because you weren't alive back then. Damn, bro, that's tough. Jingle Bells is an instant God tier and a true Christmas song to put you in the loving holiday mood and spirit. Oh my God, it's Justin Bieber's Christmas song. Mistletoe. But I'm a bee under the mistletoe. Shawty, will you? Oh, hell no. I forgot about this song. Oh, yeah, good old Justin Bieber. Not just Justin Bieber, but Justin Bieber after he cut his wavy hair to show off that new hairstyle. I can't believe there's a Christmas song that's somehow worse than Mariah Carey's. Hey, leave the Bieber alone. Have a little Bieber fever. I despise you. I mean, I don't think the song is awful. It's, it just doesn't compete with any of these classics. Uh, those are my exact thoughts, George, but I'm not gonna cap. I did have this song on repeat back when it first came out. Oh, you're one of those believers too? Jesus. Wakanda forever? No. More like Belieber forever. I'd rather listen to the parody version of this song from the key of awesome. Get more ass than a toilet seat. Ooh, I stepped in some poo. Would you scrape off my shoes? They're new. Oh, I remember that. Those were the good days, man. You'd rather listen to that? Yeah, your music taste is chalked. Shut up, this song is mid, just like your wife. I'm gonna act like I didn't hear that, Donnie. Moving on. Moving on to these awesome money badges and emotes you get for becoming our channel member. If you guys wanna watch our new videos first and early, then become our channel member. You get all these tremendous benefits. So if that all sounds terrific, press the first link in the description to become our amazing channel member. All right, so Let It Snow from Dean Martin is next up. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Man, it doesn't show. Dean Martin's version is definitely the superior version since it has more of a cozy atmosphere to it. Just imagine gathering around a warm fireplace decorated with Christmas lights with the smell of cookies being baked in the oven while it's snowing outside. This song just gives you that fuzzy feeling. This song was made back in 1959, and over 60 years later, it's a timeless classic, making it a God-tier Christmas song. Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree by Brenda Lee is our next song to rank, and that 1950s sound it has to, it is just nostalgic. Rockin' around the Christmas tree at the Christmas 
Oh, it's that one Home Alone song. Remember that one scene with the fake house party? Uh, I do remember. That song was a perfect fit for that scene. That's a good use of that song in Home Alone, and there's just something real nice here in these Christmas songs and some good old Christmas movies. This song surprised me, not only with it being real catchy, but the fact that Brenda Lee recorded this song when she was only 13, back in 1958. What? Just at 13, she made one of the most iconic Christmas songs. At 13, I was eating ice cream and getting bullied at school because of my unicorn lunchbox and t-shirts. At 13, I was getting faded, selling dope in Pop-Tart boxes and shooting hoops and ops with the homies. At 13, I was living at my mom and dad's farm, taking care of the crops and animals. At 13, I received a small loan of a million dollars from my father and had the highest net worth in my whole school. Yeah, yeah, shut up about your quote-unquote small loan. The only thing that's small is your Anyways, rocking around the Christmas tree is a god tier song. Ooh, Jingle Bell Rock is the next song. Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell Rock. Jingle Bell. I'm not gonna lie, so many of these Christmas songs you really can't get enough of, and this is one of them. I agree, and a lot of these songs are classics, so it's gonna be real hard not to put them in the god tier. And a lot of these songs were made back in the 50s, and those that were made during that time were actually the best ones. Oh look, Donald not being a Scrooge for once. Shut up, don't ruin it. Giddy up, Jingle Horse, pick up your feet! Jingle around the clock, I love this song so much! That's the Jingle Bell. Th that's the Jingle Bell Rock! Stop it, stop singing! Christmas songs are just contagious, bro. I'm slapping this hoe in the god tier. Winter Wonderland from Bing Crosby is our next Christmas song. As we go along, walking in a winter wonderland. What you hear in this song is what you imagine what the perfect Christmas would look like. This song isn't bad, but I think the ones in God tier are better. Bing Crosby's voice is just perfect for these types of songs. Man, I wish I had his deep voice sounding all manly and like Darth Vader. Huh? Bro does not sound like Darth Vader. Ignoring Joey. This is a goaded song for sure. Next up is it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, and this song doesn't have the flair or catchiness that some of the other holiday songs have. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I can see that. It's just a nice, warming, simple song. Even though it's not a catchy song, it captures the holiday spirit pretty well. Good tear then for this song, and moving on, we got It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year. This song is only good on your first listen since it's the most basic Christmas song ever. Whenever I listen to this song, it reminds me of that Sprite Cranberry commercial with LeBron James. It's the thirst, thirstiest time of the year. Hey. Want a Sprite Cranberry? Oh yeah, it reminds me of that meme. Haha, <laughs> that never gets old. Sprite Cranberry? Uh -huh. The answer is clear. It's oh, nigga! I'm not gonna lie, I think I like the Sprite Cranberry version of this song more. All right, I can get past that since some reimaginings of Christmas songs can be better than the original. What? Now that's real far-fetched Donald. No, no, trust me. Just listen to Here Comes Santa from You Know Miles. It's a tremendous work of art. Sound, a Santa on the sleigh. Oh, 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 that mean oh, daddy on Santa don't deliver the presents. I'm about to rob him. Pull up to the North Pole with the... <laughs> Hey, I was just playing dope. Now what the fuck was that, Donnie? Are you good? As I said earlier, opinions are like... Buttholes. Yeah, we get it. Jabba the Hutt. You literally can't talk about your opinions on these Christmas songs anymore. If you're saying you like what the hell you just played. You know what they say? To each his own. Donald is tweaking mad hard right now. I'm putting this song in the good tier. And oh, look, Joey, it's Rudolph's song. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. Yay! Zip it, Joseph. This song is... No, you zip it, you cheese ball. Your opinion is invalid, just like your presidency. Your words don't mean nothing, you old man. You're not allowed to talk about the next five Christmas songs because of that ludicrous take you had. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. They're stupid Christmas songs anyways. Now, with the Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer song, not only we got the catchy song, but the animated special to go with it. Ah, uh, yes, I love them both so much. Even though it's a memorable song, I don't really think it compares to a lot of the real classics. That's basically what I was gonna say. The song is just- Are you dumb? Barack said you're not allowed to speak about these songs. He's not my daddy? I sure as hell will be your daddy if you don't listen. Disgusting. I'm gonna put this song in the good tier since you can never go a Christmas without Rudolph. Ooh, Frosty the Snowman. Happy birthday! Frosty <laughs> Uh, again, this song is very... Shut up and listen, Donald. Whatever. Now that's a good boy. Again. Anyways, I don't think this song is as good as Rudolph's and not a real good Christmas song in general. What? Shut up, Barry. Don't disrespect my homie, Frosty. I think Barry has a point. As much as I love the animated special, I think the song is mid compared to Rudolph's. Wow, you guys just did Frosty the Snowman more dirty than a homeless dog. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch, is the next Christmas song. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. 
ooh, this song is definitely as good as Rudolph's. It just fits perfectly with the animated special. No, Rudolph's is better. I think they're on the same level, but the Grinch's song may just be a little bit better, so I'm gonna put this in the good tier. Can I give my damn opinion yet on these songs? Nope, you better not say anything about 12 Days of Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a partridge. I guess this song isn't that good. It's way too repetitive. As much as I enjoy singing this song, it really does get repetitive to sing and listen to. It's just one of those songs where you've probably sung back in your Christmas school play, and you still know the lyrics of it 10 years later. That's so true. I remember singing this song back in the 50s. Ah, oh, the memories. But yeah, sad to say, this is a mid-song. Joy to the world is the next Christmas song on our list. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let I don't like this song at all, boys. I get the whole story and theme of the song, but it's not my first choice to play this during the holidays. Oh, come on, Barry, don't be like Donnie. This is a beautiful song. Yeah, it is. It's a heartwarming and happy song to lift your spirit. Sounds like prison to me. Yeah, and you would know since you've been to prison. I was actually in jail for your information, not prison. So shut up, you crook. Go eat your lousy jail food. If anyone's crooked, it's you and your deformed dentures. And they actually gave me my Big Mac and fries when I was in jail. Now that's a lie. You weren't there, so you can't speak on my situation towers. You can't see it, but they took my mugshot in the middle of me eating my precious McDonald's. This man really can't go a single second without McDonald's, even when he's getting his mugshot taken. You just wouldn't understand. Now I'm gonna start giving my opinions to these dumb songs, starting with Joy to the World, going in the mid-tier. Whatever, bro. Give one more terrible take and you're out of here. Yeah, or else I'll bite and blast you. But, uh... Donnie, what do you think of Mele Kalikimaka? Mele Kalikimaka is a thing to say. On a you may be surprised, but I actually don't mind this song. Yeah, that is real surprising. This is a very unique Christmas song, since it's a Hawaiian-themed Christmas song, which I like. If you haven't guessed it already, Mele Kalikimaka means Merry Christmas in Hawaiian. Back when I was a youngster in Honolulu, the gang and I used to hotbox the chum wagon smoking some Grinch OG while blasting this song during the holidays. That sounds like a vibe. I wish I had friends like you. But we're your friends, Joey. Yeah, partly. And stay on track, fellas. We're nearly done with the tier list, but you'll already know this is a God-tier Christmas song. Whoa there, Barry. Just because you're from Hawaii doesn't mean everything from Hawaii is that good. But the song is pretty darn good, though. But that's just about it. Only good. I guess good tier, but what about Silent Night? Silent This song is way too slow for my liking. But it's meant to be a slower song. That's just the whole vibe of it. Even though that's the case, it doesn't really feel like a Christmas song. It doesn't give me that happy, warm feeling that the songs in the God tier give me. Same here. This song sounds more depressing than my life, so I'm going to put it in the mid-tier. White Christmas is next up. Thoughts, boys? Of a it's a beautiful song, but it's not enough. This is one of those songs where you just lay back on the couch and watch the snow fall outside. While you drink hot cocoa and watch your grandchildren open their presents. White Christmas isn't a bad song. It's just for a certain tone, which is quite nice compared to a lot of the other Happy Jolly Christmas songs. So I'm actually gonna put this in the goaded tier. Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas is the next song. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. It's definitely a nice one. Kinda gets my eyes teary just with how beautiful Frank Sinatra's voice is. What a sissy. Fuck off! Good music is good music. Gee, Sleepy Joe, when did you start being hostile and different? I mean, yeah, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas is a very warming song, but don't get hostile over it. Kind of rock with Joey standing up for himself lately, but yeah, this is yet again another goaded Christmas song. I'm starting to get sick and tired day by day, week by week, and month by month of the same old crap, so I gotta do something about it. Ew, gross. That's not the Joey I know. Go back to being a coward. Hey! It won't last very long, just wait and see, but finally we have the Christmas song, Last to Run! Oh, Ouch. Ouch, bro! Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Uh, what's a chestnut? It's a nut, you doofus. These chestnuts, aha, got them! You're actually lame. Even though this song is real soothing, the sad thing about the person who sung it, Nat King Cole, he passed away only at 45 years old in 1965. Oh, that's really, really sad. He didn't live to see the song become a holiday classic that's still played over 70 years later. That's real unfortunate since that man made a real goaded song for the holidays. Wow! That's the entire Christmas song tier list. This was so much fun to do, but I'm gonna miss hearing all these beautiful songs. Yeah, same here, George, but now it's time for member shout outs. Shout out to uh, Cooley21. 
Will Zoller, I don't know, and I don't know. KG, the MCM, Spinal Gem, Fox 8, My Dinner, Daniel's Weather, Space Station, Makoto 13, Christy Hawes, Joe Biden is Stinky Trump 24, Joltian 1864, Johnny Snake Shoulders, Droids 115, Antonio Aponte, Epic Blabbit, Josephine Willis. This user was taken. Ray the Awesome Dude, Jeffrey Epstein, Obama Rama, Michael Morin, your average Dragon Ball Z fan, Comden, Thomas Hilberg, Caleb Halliday, Peanuts Van 1000, Albert Muher, Melanie Elrod, Captain Skull 866, Lee Birch, Hamster World, Maximilian Plays, Kyle Warwick Matthew, A Parrot, Arrow 73, and Mr. Fatty Tyrone for becoming our great channel members. More shout outs to Arapentidos, Convertidos, Zarka, Cyrus, Hunter Thompson, Supreme Quacks, Jaguar Stone Paw, The Mo Mechanic, Joshua O'Malley, Ether, Anthony VR, Nikolai FR, Money Dynamic, Matanya, Otto von Bismarck, Star Brother, Darth Vader versus Luke Skywalker, Sox, Connor the Gamer, a normal green slime and Archangel 98 for going above and beyond by becoming our wonderful channel members. Even more, shout outs to Bloody Red, Gaming Dragon, Quick Scope Cooper, Prince Glenn Moore, and Infinite Animations Guy, Winner, SRF, Nostalgia Network, Bunny Garden, Smelly Boomer, Brandon Ayala, Amper Sandler, Omen Lude, Gabe Dudas 2, Alpha Diamond, Joe V 1998, Ballsack, Dominic Comise, Late Blanket 5591, President's Discord Chats, V Ricochet, and Deontay McGee for being the best channel members. And finally, shout outs to the tremendous Mevins 2001, Fabian Moans, Jordan Arness, Finn Akers, The Gilder 7111, Media Fan 50, Koishi Servan, Adamantium Asari, Spectre, and last but not least, Alex Ovando, thank you for watching and have a good day, you filthy animals.